Carson Kelly is back from the injured list. He'll work behind the plate with Jose Herrera. Far show 248 nine home run. Well, looks like Malley's coming out with the same game plan. Fastballs up and away. Here it is. Marcio hits it on the ground, scooped up by Joey Votto. And there's one away. Let's take a look. Josh took an 0 for last night, 0 for 5. That snapped a five game hit streak for him. There's another fastball. That's what Malley did last Thursday afternoon at Great American Ballpark. Just here tonight, they have lost their starting catcher, Tyler Stevenson. And Josh couldn't hold up on the cutter. Stevens took a fastball or foul. Fractured right thumb. That's a big loss. He was having a great year, Tyler Stevenson, the young catcher. Another fastball. That's Malley's game. And he's retired the first two. Another fastball from Malley. Last week allowed a run. Another fa fastball away. Yeah, he was just flipping his thumb up when he wanted a high fastball. Right on the corner. He dotted it at 95. Two strikeouts for Malley, who picks up Kelso in those days. <laughs> it's good to have him back with us. Christian Walker right on the button and right to Farmer. For the out. Another fastball from Tyler Malley. Stop me if you've heard. I don't think the splitter yet. That's a pitch he's thrown a whole bunch this season. It's mostly fastballs and cutters. Chinese nice with the cutter. 94 is in there and it's one and two. And strikeouts. There's a splitter. He had it all set to go and that's his third strikeout. I feel a home. giving you the occasional home run. Oftentimes you'll homer in consecutive games, but uh, really ever since the beginning of May, it's been a struggle for him. That one kicks away. That's the cutter that time. That's ball up. Ooh, left it right yeah. in the middle for Pavin that time. Line pitch, or if he's frustrated that he didn't get a pitch to hit. That's an outburst for him. Yeah. Right to Tommy Pham. 2 1. Two. That's the slider from Malley. We've seen him more horizontal, got more sweep to it than the hard cutter. And then back in with a fastball. Two and one. This is spot that got the call. Got jammed, and Farmer collects that one. One away in the third. Hey, fans are making an effort to hit the ball the opposite way. He's getting pitched out over the plate like that quite a bit. There's a lot of room on that left side. I think that's a show a little bit now and again. Mm -hmm. Peralta used to a lot, not so much this year. Well, Paven Smith used to quite a bit. Two hit games, a six game hit streak overall. And just lifts this one out. A little sandwich out to Fam and left. Two outs in the third. Rooster today. He's going to roll into town this weekend. Does Twins Radio, of course, with Corey Provis. Yeah, Danny was a former teammate of mine with the Giants. School, Fresno State. Mike Lacoste lived in the area. We had quite a group working out over at Fresno State.
I'm sure everything was on the up and up. You guys were just, you know, hitting the books, lifting a few weights, eating your vegetables. Well, well. right? Wait, no? No. <laughs> Pretty good. Hmm. So we joined a league. <laughs> And we would travel around uh, the Central Valley of California. I had a two and two on Geraldo Perdomo. But you know, what can you do? Uh, Try to talk to him. Boy, Malley has brought his fastball back to the valley. Your staff is reporting the Miles Michaelis no hitter is over. Cal Mitchell, remember County hit a double. Michaelis had thrown 129 pitches and couldn't close out the no no. He was one out away and lost it. Doing the same thing he did last week against the Diamondbacks. Coming I right at him. Yeah. yeah. There's another one. Fastball just above the belt has popped up. And Joey Votto is there. He hadn't thrown enough innings. Foul at first. Yeah, there's always that dead arm period you hear yeah. about. Ball's coming out of your hand with any zip at all. Breaking balls roll up to the plate. Fast balls are straight as a string, and Lax comes back. You hope. <laughs> Always move that cutter around. He's shown the. And gets Rojas to chase one way out there. And Malley has punched out five. Two outs in the fourth. Reds will overshift on the first base side against Cattell, who took a big cut at that fastball. Pitches for Tyler Malley, 33 strikes. Arcane lifts that out to right. Almora is there. He's on the move. And he won't get it. It's off the wall. Cattell Marte pulls into second. What a two out double. And there's the Diamondbacks' first hit. Christian has hit for the. And Marte doubled in the third inning last night. It was followed by a Christian Walker two run home. Ball and a strike. Center field for Senzel. And he's got room. We played four. Each team with one hit. There's the split. I heat her last week. So wondering if the second time through tonight, maybe you see a little more split or something else. And it hangs up in right center. Sends out over there to collect it. And there's one out. It was that Royal Sears. Yeah. When Kansas City came in here, and all of a sudden the ball, which was uh, basically like a wet, has a different feel to it. Than it did earlier this year. I really noticed the sound off the bat changed. You know, I mean, just a crisp, resound. Kansas City, it was striking the difference. Only reason it brought this, this feel different. Splitter right at the knees for strike two. Blair Manley last week at Cincinnati. Chops this one out to center for Senzel, drifting over to left center field now. And that's out number two as we get this quick. Got that slider in and that straight up. So there's an extra move, part of that load. Manley reaches out and gets it. Nice play, nice play. And he has got it working. He's given up only one hit through five scoreless. Over that six game hitting streak, in fact, Alec has three, five strikeouts. Bounced one on home plate that time with that split finger pitch. And caught Dodger catcher. 1 1. Right on the corner with a cutter. Oh, yeah, the, the little piece, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
ninety five at the belt. That's how Malley operates. And he has punched out him in the third. In last night's game after he singled twice Sunday in a win at Philadelphia. And they are hopeful that Nick can be back before the year ends. But there is no timeline. One two pitch. Dodgers and Angels just underway at Dodger Stadium. No score. Perdomo punches it over there. There you go, baby. I love it. The second hit for the Diamondbacks, a one out single. It was right there for him. Yeah. On that first base side, Drury, the only guy near third in on the grass. And the splitter misses up and away. We got a fastball. Got him at 95 away. Seven strikeouts for Malley. Two outs in the sixth. And the well, Malley has matched Davies now with seven strikeouts. Trying to match him with six scoreless. I can still remember seeing Miguel Cabrera as a skinny third baseman for the Miami. Josh got that fast. Came back with that same pitch, same spot, and it's two and two. Tried to elevate with that fastball. Perdomo on the move. Low strike call there by Jansen Visconti. And he rings up who hits. He struck out at eight. And Marte chops up the first one, a fastball. Jury calling for it at third. One pitch, one out in the seventh. Ten strikeouts. He's punched out eight so far tonight. And is ahead of Walker 0 and 1. The fourth. I think it was Sunday in Philly when I were talking about him as 0 0, but it's been tremendously interesting. And boy, Malley, 96 right there. And then a strikeout number nine. Davies at 90 pitches through seven. Splitter fouled away. Two of these win tomorrow afternoon with Zach Gallon on the mound. Two and two on Peralta. Well, he struck out 10 Diamondbacks last week. He struck out 10 again. It's one of the best there is. Of course, the uh, Father's Day Hawaiian shirt is a tradition here at the ballpark, and we like to see the, the leads off the eighth against Tyler Malley. Down 10. He's not walked a batter. He's given up only two hits. Broken bat to first. Votto's there. Malley covers, and that's the first out. More often ourselves than our <laughs> fans, but Carson Kelly. Excuse me, check swing, strike two there. Alley has set down six in a row. But up nothing else. 0 2. Still throwing 96 with that four seam fastball.
Punched the slider up there. They off on Thursday. 2 2. Carson caught looking at a fastball right there. That's 11 strikeouts for Tyler Malley. And two outs in the eighth. Struck out five of the seven batters he's faced the third time through. And he's ahead of Alec Thomas. So and one. There's that split. Malley. And as you mentioned, still throwing 96. Yeah. So One two on Alec Thomas. Called strike three. He has matched his career high. It's 0 and 2. Malley. 0 2. The ninth inning. 12 strikeouts, no walks, just two hits. Foul ground, and Drury chases that one down for the first out. Well, only three times in this ballpark's history. Marshall ahead, two balls, no strikes. Missed way out there with a cutter. And it's 3-0. He has not walked a batter. Rojas on deck, the 3-0 right here. Popped it up. Garcia trying to find it. Farmer at shortstop, backhander. Varsho beats it out. In the air to center, Senzel. Varsho at first. And he'll have to stay put there. Jonathan India, the second baseman, is well back on the out. Marsho holds. Marte went around, says Jerry Mills. It's a ball and a strike. Couldn't check on that fastball up. Ooh, that one almost got away right there. A cutter that went the other direction. He's throwing 118 pitches, Tyler Malley. Take the error off the board. 2-1 to Marte. Popped up. Vada underneath. And for only the fourth time in Chase Field history.